Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create an interlocking halftone pattern just like the one you see right here. Now we're going to be doing this on a 500 by 500 pixel artboard. And we have two colors right here, this light blue and this kind of reddish pink. And I'll give the colors there in the description below. Let's start. We're going to press L to create a circle. And we're going to make a circle with a diameter of 50. So 50 and 50 for the width and height. Press OK. Now, we're going to move this circle just to the top left here by pressing Control shift m which is our move key. And the horizontal position we're going to do it is minus 37. And if we do that, it moves right here. And the vertical position is going to be minus 33.62. Now, these dimensions here are specific for a circle of 50, uh, 50 pixels in diameter. And I'm going to put this scale uh, the movement scale in the description below. So if you want to have a hundred, you know how much to move it by. So let's press copy now. And then press O, which is our reflect tool. You can also access it right here. And click on the center of the circle right here. And then click on this, hold Alt, which will duplicate it and shift until it's minus 90, like that. Then let's select all of our shapes right here and press Control Shift M. And now we're going to move them to the right horizontally by 74 points and vertically by 0 points. And we just press copy. And now we've moved it there. And now we press Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, and Control D. Let's select our shape now. Press Control G to group it. And we're going to vertically align center and horizontally align center. So now it's centered inside our art board. We can select our object now and ungroup it. Let's apply the blue color to these circles up here. And let's get started with the shapes. So let's select all of our shapes right here right now. And we're gonna to go to Object, Transform, and Transform Each, or Alt, Control, Shift, D. Now we're gonna scale each one of these circles by 70%, and we're gonna move it vertically by minus 60, so that means upwards. So if we go like this, you see they shrink upwards and press copy. We press Control D and once more Control D. And we're gonna do the same for these circles right here at the bottom. We select them and go Control Shift Alt D. And now we're gonna move them vertically by 60 pixels, which means downwards. Like that and press copy and D and D like that. Now we're just going to clean up these circles so they don't stick out right here by pressing M. And we're just going to create a box that overlaps these shapes right here. Just go like that. Good. Then we're going to select these shapes. I guess go to Pathfinder and go Divide. And select over here Pathfinder and also Divide. With that, we can click on this ungroup, click on this, ungroup, and then we can select our shapes right here, press delete, and now we only have everything that's within our artboard, like that. Cool. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create this pattern right here. So we're going to press M to create a box, and start from this, well actually, we can click on this corner right here, and the width is going to be 500, so across the artboard and the height will be 250 so down to the middle and press OK like so and actually <laughs> we're gonna do one thing before that we're gonna select all of our objects here and we're gonna group them by command G and over here command G now we're gonna press L M so our rectangle tool click at this corner here and go 500 by 250 press OK good now I'm gonna right click on this we're going to arrange and we're going to send it to the back and then we're going to select this shape right here press ctrl c we're going to copy it and select both shapes like this and go to the pathfinder and we're going to go minus front like that and that deletes and creates these little circles in here then we'll press ctrl shift v which is paste in place so now they're back into their original positions with that done we're now going to select this object and this object, and we're going to unite it so it's one complete shape. 
Then we're gonna do a square right here. And it should be 250, just like that. I'm gonna give it the color of that circle. And we're gonna click on this and we're gonna arrange it and send to the back like that. Then we're gonna select these two objects and we unite them like that. And we're gonna click on it and again, send to the back. There we have our base shape. Now to create our gradients, let's close this. We're going to open our gradient panel, select our object right here, and let's apply just a standard fade to black. Press G and click at the bottom here, hold shift and drag to the top like that. Now bottom color here, we're gonna give it as a kind of a gray, maybe a darker gray like that. And in here, we're gonna apply this color. And in order to do that, we're going to click, double click on this gradient slider, and then hold shift and click on the eyedropper tool. And this allows us to select one of these colors and then put it right here. It's an annoying way to do it, but that's the way to do it. Then we're gonna click while holding shift onto that blue color right there. Now, in this case, the opacity is zero. So we just make sure that the opacity is 100%. And there we have it, it's been applied. And we can move, we can adjust this a bit more so it's a bit bluer like that. Good, we're gonna do the same thing with the pink right here. We're gonna select it, we're gonna apply a gradient on it, and press G, click at the top, hold shift, drag to the bottom like that. And again, here we'll put the opacity to 100%. And, oh, let's move this to here double click on this we're gonna give it a red color and up here we'll double click on this hold shift click on the eyedropper tool twice and click right there and we've applied our gradient and we have our full interlocking grid and that's all there is to it so thank you so much for checking out this video I hope you enjoyed I hope this is useful and of course as always subscribe check out our other videos if you have any questions comments or requests put them in the comments below and of course as always have a great day